Hi Digital World! My name is Leah and I have decided to start my own YouTube channel! Thank you! So why I've decided to go ahead and start my own YouTube channel. It is something I've considered doing for quite some time. One of the things I love to do is watch YouTube uh, looking for advice on things like travel and organization, uh, packing for travel, all things Disney as well as cruising. So that gives you a little bit of an idea of what this channel is going to be about. Today what I'd like to talk to you about is a DIY itinerary for your travel. Uh, my trip that is coming up very soon in a couple of months is a cruise on Royal Caribbean as well as a stay in Walt Disney World in Florida. We are cruising on the Adventure of the Seas for seven days in the Southern Caribbean and the reason we're doing that is because it's our 10th anniversary and Adventure of the Seas was the ship we cruised on for our honeymoon. So it's very exciting for me. And then last year uh, when we were visiting Disney with my mom and dad and Kevin's mom and dad, we were the kids on that trip, Kevin and I made the jump and decided to become DVC members. So uh, we are going to be welcome home to uh, the Polynesian and that is also very exciting. I think this is going to be the trip of a lifetime. I'm super excited about all of it. And I love travel. One of the things about travel that I love is the anticipation and the planning, getting ready for it. One of the things I like to do, I wouldn't say it's my first step. It's probably, you know, third, second or third step in getting ready for a trip. But one of the things I like to do is a creative, customized personal itinerary for our trip. Uh, my itineraries are usually different each time. I do usually create them on the computer so I'll uh, print them out typically uh, from a word processing program. This time what I've decided to do is make a booklet and here's my booklet. Uh, so, if I were to open this up, it's a regular sheet of paper, folded in half, keeping the length. Uh, so this is my example awesome vacation itinerary 2016. What I have done is folded it and of course stapled it here and here. So you would slide it in this way with the top side of the stapler. This half length is... Um, something that my standard stapler <laughs> was able to reach across. I've put a couple of my little symbols that I've used on the cover just for decoration. This one is an example and when I uh, make the one for my vacation I will probably use cardstock as the cover uh, just to make it a little more sturdy when I'm sliding it in and out of my carry-on or um, you know placing it on the counter or dresser. Um, just to make it a little more uh, durable. The inside of the cover will perhaps be blank. Uh, that's the way the example is, but of course you could write notes or make this a spot to put a paper clip and clip things like baggage tags or important little, other little notes that you've added at the last minute. Some sticky notes on there. Um, the first page, I think this is how I'll do it. I will fold back and just have the one page exposed that I'm going to be looking at. But this first page is a summary of confirmation numbers. Uh, as you'll see, these are made up confirmation numbers. <laughs> these are my real confirmation numbers, but I use the symbols. So there we have hotel. This would be hotel confirmation numbers, flight, flight confirmation numbers. This one's a little ship. So that would be for the cruise, uh, cruise confirmation information. Things you might just have to look at at a glance if they don't have your name. Everywhere I've ever been has your name in the last few years. There's no real need for confirmation numbers, but it's just a sense of security um, to have that number to refer back to. And then that's a little Mickey head. So these would be the Disney confirmation numbers for your hotel, for your dinners, 
uh, or any shows that you've booked. This is just an example. So I have changed the important information. You're not going to see my actual itinerary, but this will give you a very good idea of what it looks like on a traveling day, on a cruise day, and on a Disney day. So I am Canadian. We're starting off in Canada, my little Canada flag down there. And that's something I like to do, especially for uh, cruise trips, is to check out each country's flag and get an idea of what it is. It's just part of knowing where you are. Where in the world am I? Um, so I would have the date, Monday, month the 12th <laughs> on this one. Um, for this itinerary, something I've done is done a, a motto for each day. Today's motto, be packed and ready to go. So if we pull up this page and we look at it, we check the motto, oh, we know, packed and ready to go. Um, my first symbol is a little paw, and this is for pet care. I have a note, make sure mom and dad know everything that Tabby will need. Tabby is my cat, my Tabby cat. I know it's a very creative name. The next one is to symbolize parking. Um, our solution this particular time, we've tried lots of different ways of getting to the airport, but because it is a special uh, occasion trip, what we're doing this time is um, staying at an airport at the hotel and in the package is included 15 days of parking. So we don't have to worry about it. It's undercover, so if it snows, it might still be snowy when we go. Um, hotel, flight, and the country we're gonna be in. So <laughs> the first night we're just going to our closest airport. We are staying in the hotel. Um, oh, so <laughs> specifics of this would be evening arrival at the airport. So we're working that night, we're going to after work go to the airport, check in, sleep, be nice and relax, just stroll into the airport the next morning and hop on our flight. Then I would put the confirmation number again for the hotel. It's for parking and lodging at the hotel. This note is a no shirt, no shoes, no service. I have this on every page. Basically, it is the uh, sign for what we're going to wear that day. This is just my suggestion. It's to wear something that will transition um, into the flight and arriving on the ship. So my personal solution, so I have Leah and I have Le Kevin, I have a little uh, lady symbol and a little man symbol. So my personal solution, this is what I'm thinking right now. Now this could certainly change and I would just, I'm not going to print this till right before we leave. Um, but my solution right now is to wear a t-shirt with a button-up shirt on top, wear a denim skirt, and this way, if it's chilly here when we leave, I can wear tights underneath my skirt and a sweater over top of my two shirts, and that should be warm enough to get to the car, to the hotel, um, and be warm enough. And then the next day, I can just take off the tights, take off the sweater, tuck them in a carry-on, or if there's room in my check luggage, uh, tuck them in there. And I am good to transition from the airport in Canada to the airport in Puerto Rico. <laughs> there's gonna be a big uh, difference in temperature, so layers is definitely the way to go. Um, and then under Kevin's, it has his name, and then it says who knows because I don't know what he's going to wear. I can account for most days what he's going to wear, but I cannot account for what he's going to wear on the plane or uh, what he's going to decide to do. So I'll just leave that up to him to decide later. So, and then the next day, so this is what it would look like if it was open full page. So, and then Tuesday, we would flip to Tuesday. This is an example again we're not magically going to be in Barbados, uh, but to show you some of the cruise, uh, cruise example, um, the anchor to me means that we are at port. So we're not cruising, we're not out on the ocean all day. We're at a particular port. 
Um, the clock means we have a ticketed event that we've prepaid for and we need to be on time somewhere. Uh, that's our excursion, is what that is meaning. Uh, a picture of Crocs, because this would be the appropriate footwear. A symbol of a camera. And that's because on this particular excursion, I'd like to bring my DL DSLR and take some nicer pictures. Because there'll be lots of scenery on this one. Lots of fun. This one is formal shoes. So dinner that night will be formal. So it's just a reminder that, it's a quick reminder that, oh, we're going to be changing into fancy clothes when we get back. And then this is Barbados flag, which is really cool, I think. And so what I've written is where we're going to be, our excursion. This is not exactly what the excursion is called, but it's a four by four cave expedition. Uh, I will write the time. This is 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. That's not the actual time either. Not that Tuesday month the 13th isn't really the date. A little note here says to remember cash for a tip, souvenir or snack. And then you see my no shirt, no shoes, no service. Wear something for comfort and touring on a bus. And then for dinner, it says formal. Then there's a specific description for the excursion and for formal nights on the cruise. And so that we don't wonder, maybe I should say, for formal night on the cruise, I'm going to wear a little black dress a pair of kitten heel pumps that are still very comfortable and they have a nice flower on the toe and then I am going to wear a circle vest so that I can wear the same little black dress on the other formal night without the circle vest but putting on the the vest is just going to make it look a different color a nice big pop of color that will make the pictures look different <laughs> from each formal night. Um, and then Kevin, what we've decided to do this time is for formal nights is just a white shirt with a tie that coordinates with whatever I'm wearing. Uh, each time it's not something, it's nothing fantastic. It's straightforward. It's the middle of the road. On Royal Caribbean you will find that some people will wear a tuxedo and other people will act like they don't even know what's formal night. They'll wear their golf shirt and their shorts and everyone will be allowed in. We're taking middle of the road, tie and dress shirt and nice slacks and nice pants and nice shoes for Evan, for the gentleman. And so then my last example is um, a Disney one. So again, I would just fold this over so I would, would only see that particular day facing up and so it's Wednesday month the 14th in my example today's motto is Chewbacca and that's because we are going to Hollywood Studios and we're hopefully going to get a picture of Kevin with Chewbacca um so I have the name of the resort this doesn't say the name of the resort but um, has where we're staying and then for this particular day which park we're going to um, a quick note of the fast passes we have so um, these are short form so uh, ST would be Star Tours uh, 6 p.m. and then uh, <laughs> I have to remember what some of my short forms are uh, Muppet Vision 3D <laughs> and Toy Story Midway Mania. Um, so those are the fast passes. And my lunch suggestion, uh, it's a quick serve, would be the Backlot Express because they have dark side chicken and waffles there. I'm personally gluten free, so I will likely have a, you know, one of their delicious salads or something. There's lots of gluten free options for me, but. This would be for Kevin to have <laughs> chicken and waffles with Darth Vader on them. Why not? Um, and then we do have a dinner reservation. So when dinner time rolls around, 
we will go to that particular place. And then, um, so the symbols here are Mickey because we would be in Disney World. So that's on every page that we're in Disney World. Comfortable shoes. Every park day needs comfortable shoes. This is just running shoes, whatever those shoes would be. Most likely for us, they are running shoes, tie up running shoes. Um, the camera symbol, so I bring my DSLR for the Chewbacca pictures. Uh, this is my symbol for Disney Hollywood Studios, so that's symbolizing the park. And the, this is a plate with a fork and a spoon, and this is uh, symbolizing that we do have reservations, dinner reservations that day. And then for the Disney portion of our trip, what to wear is a little simpler. Uh, it's just usually shorts and t-shirts, unless it's uh, something special I want to wear a dress for. But generally, shorts and t-shirts are the way to go in Disney. Definitely resort casual at Disney World. And then there would be a space at the back of the booklet. So I just put, do what you love. So this, I'll show you again, is the booklet. It can be tricky to print a booklet like this. What you need to do is make text boxes. For all of your information so each day for me is all of this information is in one big text box and then I google free clip art um, road sign hotel free clip art road sign airport free clip art Canada flag and I make them small and I make them fit along the side of the text box. So this is in text box. These are just very tiny clip arts, free from the internet. You need to arrange them in a way so that when you print them, it's going to have the proper day on it. I'm going to show you that too. It's actually my mom who is the booklet printing whiz in the family. So I consulted her for help with my idea of what I wanted to do. And what she actually recommended for me is to make a miniature version. Because my actual itinerary is covering 15 days um, it's going to be much larger than that that's just my example but this is a miniature version of the booklet so what you would do is get a piece of paper cut it up or tear it up into miniature pages so this is just to pretend it's a it's a page you can see that it's about the size of my fingers it's not very big this one says title page. You fold it like you would fold your actual booklet. Title page, then you're going to label each one or just number each one. Um, you could put one here that says a calendar. I, that's something I could, instead of notes or a place to put sticky notes, the front page could be a calendar. Um, confirmation numbers would be the second page. So you're just kind of, it's not stapled, but you're just kind of holding it like the booklet would actually be. So um, turn the next page and you have your, you start your dates. Go all the way through the miniature booklet and label everything. Then you can take the booklet apart and realize where your things need to be for printing. So the title page on one, if you open it up, it's title page on this side, back of the booklet on this side, I just wrote a note there by Leah, calendar on this side, and then your quote on this side, see you real soon or do what you love, some inspirational quote. And then for example, your page two, your at-a-glance confirmation numbers are actually on the same page as your last day, your final day you're going to be there. So your, your final date. And on the flip side of that, you have the first day you're going to be there and the second last day you're going to be there. So it can be quite complex of how you're going to print that. So definitely make yourself a miniature booklet and just to show you I'll, I'll just staple this so you know what I mean it's 
staple it on the fold on the halfway. I didn't do that perfect. But there you go. Title page. And then everything will be in order once your booklet is folded together and stapled. So just to show you again, there's my title page. It's folded and stapled. When I open it up, I could have a calendar, notes here. But then I have confirmation numbers, turn the page. This is only two pages because it's an example, but this would be the center page. You'd have Monday, Tuesday, turn it up. You need Wednesday on the opposite side of that paper. And then my inspirational quote at the end. So I hope that gives you some inspiration. And if you have any questions, put them down below. Give my video a like. Um, I have lots more information on everything in my itinerary. It's my 10th anniversary cruise, so I've cruised a lot. Um, and I this will be my eighth time to Disney. So I would be happy to give you advice on any of that. I can give you some advice on being a DVC member. I'm new to it, so I may have to ask others, but I could definitely gather the information for you and let you know. We'll share my other steps of getting ready for a trip as well. I know I said this is about my second or third step, but um, I'll let you know what the, the other processes are as well. But I just wanted to give this YouTube video a try, uh, put it together and see what I could make, and I hope you like it. Thanks a lot. Bye.